A big problem affecting multiple metro lines midday could also affect trains during the evening rush. The positive train control technology went down, meaning trains were halted right where they stood. Charlie Wojciechowski is live near Millennium Station with the very latest for us. Charlie. Well, Kate, Metro was bracing for a commute that was anything but normal, but I just took a look inside Millennium Station. No one seems to be waiting for trains. The boards don't indicate any real problems. The only report we have, one on the electric district trains, a train stopped near Harvey because of signaling problems. As I said, they're hoping for a smooth commute now after a rough morning. A positive approach to the afternoon commute after major problems this morning effectively shut down many of Metro's rail lines. Our dispatchers, who are essentially the air traffic controllers of the railroad system, they are the ones who make sure that traffic can flow smoothly and safely through the system. They started losing ability to control switches, see signal aspects in the field. This afternoon, there's little sign of any problem here at Millennium Station where the boards show that all the trains are running on time. Shortly before one, we were able to resume service. However, because we were out of sync for about two hours today, we there are very likely to be some impacts for the evening rush. That could mean delayed trains or canceled trains. Metro says it first noticed the problem in its positive train control or PTC system. That is a series of computers and satellite locators that keep trains moving safely on the system. According to Metro, the only lines impacted were the ones it had a role in dispatching. So that's six of our lines. And one of those lines, the Heritage Corridor, they only run in the morning and evening rush. So their trains were already in by the time this started. It started about 10.50 this morning. Metro alerted its riders to disruptions in service, but was able to restore that service and the ability to move its trains early this afternoon. Now it expects a normal evening rush hour, but advises riders to be flexible just in case. So which lines weren't affected? Well, the BNSF and the Union Pacific lines, because they are actually run by those two railroads. All other Metro lines were touched, and that's what Metro wants you to know right now. As you approach the station, look at the boards. Make sure the train you want is on the track you expect it to be. If it's not, look around for that train. It may have moved. Reporting live at Millennium Station, Charlie Wojciechowski, NBC5 News. Charlie, thanks so much.